that close that switch scenes move the mic away from my face uh, make sure everything is oh unmute the game good I didn't drive too far away yet but me Boru is gone well there's a thing right over here I'm playing with one hand right now, so I'm not sprinting. As you can probably hear the mouse clicks. Um, Let's check Twitch. See who's streaming. I didn't see anybody earlier, but that doesn't mean nobody's streaming now. Uh, yeah, we still got the same four channels that were live earlier. Okay, go to YouTube. <laughs> Turn him down a little bit, he's a little loud. Oh, my headphones are loud, that's why. I'm like, normally Critical's not that loud. I'm getting close. I've been binging YouTube Critical Nights basically the entire time I've been playing Genshin. Um, I've been, you know, popping into streams here and then. I always try to drop in if I see a friend is streaming. But, I'm actually working, I'm actually to the point where I'm running out of them. Oh, it's so funny. I never thought I would run out of them. There are like years worth of VODs to pile, piled up. But, day 23, part 2, I've dropped... It's so funny the way people react to me. Because they see AR-43 and they're like, oh, this person's been playing a long time. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm new, I've only been playing three weeks. They're like, what the fuck? And it's like, I feel like I should say, yeah, but I've been dropping like 12 hour days back to back to back. <laughs> playing Genshin, doing story, which rewards you with shit tons of adventure EXP. 
Like that other guy yesterday who was shocked I beat the Archon quest. The place meets a borrow's fence is right up there. Okay, let's go check it out. Ooh, shipwreck. Is this really the right place? Um, there's nothing here but a shipwreck. Oh, Mitaboro had better not be lying to us. Hmm. Guess it's time to go back and ask our friend a couple of questions. <laughs> How did it go? Did you find anything valuable? Mitaboru! There's nothing on this island except for a shipwreck! What kind of intuition is that? What? No! Impossible! Ah! I know. It must be because I've been sleeping for too long, and my intuition is not as sharp as it once was. Uh... As the saying goes, nobody's perfect, and certainly no... Boat's perfect either, right? Cut me a little slack, huh? The next place will be the one. I'm sure the next place will be full of treasure. It better be. No more playing tricks on us this time. You have my word. But, um... The next place is a little far away. And I'm not sure of the precise location. All I know is that... It's somewhere northwest of here. But there are so many islands in the northwest. Oh, you gotta give us a little more than that. Wait a minute. If you mean one of the larger islands, there are only two of them in the northwest. Musical flowers, hmm? Indeed. Among the sounds I'm sensing, I hear music drifting across the sea. But not just the sound of music, no. There's the non-stop cawing of ravens, too. To be precise, the cawing is coming from the east, and the music is coming from the southwest. So, you're hearing two sounds? Ugh, where could this darn treasure be? But where can you hear the sounds from both islands at the same time? Oh, you're right! Yep, that's exactly what Paimon was thinking, too. Ah, then let's go over and take a look. Ha, you know, I must say, it seems you two are quite close. You bet. We've been on loads of adventures together and found... Ah, if only I'd been able to speak back when we were sailing on the sea, then maybe I would have been able to communicate with my companions just like you two. You seem to have so much fun together. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> All right, time to find the center location of these two big islands. Oh, well, there's actually a thing. Hold on, I'm going to activate this just to light it up. I guess, why am I worrying about it? This event area is going to disappear, right? This is such nice sailing music.
between both islands. There better be some treasure this time. <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna climb up this way. Yeah, I think that'll work. It'll be, it's going to be a long trip, so I should take all my stamina, but I think we can make this. Uh, actually, I don't, I have to go much less out of my way than I thought I did for this. gonna be close actually. No, we should make it. Yeah, we could probably even jump at this point. I'm not going to just okay now I'm going to. <laughs> now that I see this is indeed flat and I'll be able to stand up here. Alright, that's probably enough. Another shipwreck, huh? Not surprised. Uh, over here. Well, surprise, surprise! There's nothing here either except yet another shipwreck. Well, half a shipwreck anyway. Was there no treasure this whole time? Um, oh. But wait. Both times Mitaboru thought he was sensing treasure, it turned out to be shipwrecks. Body? What does that mean? Oh, like they're ship friends. Hey, why don't we take a picture of the boat and show it to Mitaboru? Then he can confirm whether it's his body or not. How did it go? Did you find something? Let me guess. You found a huge... Oh, a huge load of nothing. Oh, I dropped the cannonball again, didn't I? Same as last time. Just another shipwreck. Maybe they're parts of your body. We took pictures of them. Take a look. Is this a painting? I didn't know you two could paint so well. Just look at the detail. Down to the smallest blade of grass. It's just like the real thing. We didn't paint this. We took it using a camera. So it was drawn by a machine through some high-speed mechanism. So even the mighty pirate ship has never seen a camera before. What are you trying to say? It's not like I haven't seen similar things before. It's just like the hell paintings in all of those legends. But anyway, what's that thing in the middle of this picture? That's the shipwreck we found. Take a look. Could it be your body? Hmm. <laughs> ha! Impossible. Where did this sorry ship come from? It's a total wreck. You may not know this, but I'm considered as the mightiest pirate ship of the Akodomiki fleet. My hull is made of the best wood found on Seirai Island. The edges of my frame boards were refined with folding saws so that the pieces fit together perfectly. Then they were joined together and reinforced with large rivets, making me indestructible. There's no way I could end up like this. But your intuition led us to shipwrecks twice in a row. It's probably because of the special bond between our boats that draws us to one another. 
before they run aground. These ships may well have been self-aware, too. The remnants of their spirit is most likely what I sensed. Anyway, this can't be my body. My body's probably docked at a hidden port somewhere in these waters. You'll see. My side panels are painted with the finest lacquer. Arr, what a majestic sight I used to be. Once we find it, you'll realize how different I am from this shipwreck in your picture. That sounds great! We should go for a cruise together sometime. Ah, that's for sure. I can't believe I sensed the wrong thing twice in a row. The lack of maintenance has really taken the wind out of my sails, as far as my intuition goes. You have to apply caulk once in a while if you want a long-lasting voyage. That goes for people, too. What the heck is caulk? Is it the glue that holds all the parts of the ship together? Ha <laughs> ha! Paimon, you're a funny one, aren't you? No, but you're not that far off. Caulk is the stuff we use to fill the gaps between the planks to stop water from leaking into the ship. It's made of rubber or something. Every once in a while, you gotta caulk the gaps as part of the maintenance. Exactly. Which reminds me, I got some good rest when you two went on that little adventure. I'm sure I'll be able to sense where the real treasure is now. Third time's the charm. Time to get serious. We'll definitely find something this time. I'm unsure hope so. Anything will do at this point. What's wrong, Paimon? You don't sound like you believe me. Anyway, this time, I sense something in the southeast, on the sea surface. It doesn't feel like something very big, and that raises the chances of it being a small but valuable item. Ha ha ha! Come on, let's go. It should be somewhere around here. Hmm. Could it be this reef? It looks kind of small. Surely you found something this time. Have I finally convinced you of this mighty pirate ship's razor sharp treasure hunting senses? All there was was a bird's nest. So, yeah, technically there were a couple of eggs, uh, but that was all. Oh. Just, uh, just the two, you say? Really? So this is the valuable treasure you were talking about? Ahem. <clears throat> Paimon, you may not be aware, but the mightier the pirate ship, the longer its voyage at sea, you see. Eventually, the only food available on board is dry fish. At times like this, a couple of bird eggs on a reef nearby can easily become the most valuable treasure to a crew. I know he's covering his ass, but he kind of has a point. Okay, fine. But how the heck did I end up sensing eggs? How strange. I swear I sense something. But there's nothing else on the reef. Could it be these two planks? Seems like they were used as a shelter. Hmm. Paimon wonders where they came from.
<sighs> I know where this plank comes from. Traveler, Paimon, what you saw just now was my own memory. It was my first time sailing on the sea after I was built. The crew used greased planks to create a slipway, then launched me into the water. The thing is, it's really hard to control the angle at which the bow launches onto the water. It could very well break if you're not careful, which is why most people choose to launch the ship sideways instead. These two planks, or should I say, these two side panels, they must have been the first parts of my body to make contact with the water. Mitaboru, um, if your side panels are here, does that mean... Maybe I crashed into the reef here and was shattered to pieces long ago. And maybe the sensation I had when I woke up wasn't some kind of treasure-hunting intuition after all, but me responding to my own body. There I was, making fun of that shipwreck, blissfully unaware that I was actually making fun of my own body. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, how embarrassing. We don't know that for sure. Maybe... Maybe your body is still in one piece. Yeah, these two planks are probably just... Uh, um... Uh, uh, part of your family tree! Set sail for one piece. Yep, could share the same route. Even if it's not, there are loads of shipwrecks around here. These planks probably just belong to one of them. But... I... Uh, thank you. Both of you. By the way, Mitaburu, wasn't there something about your name mentioned in that memory? Do you remember your name now? Oh, it's a pity. But I'm afraid I didn't see much more than you did. I still can't recall my name. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's not too bad. You and the Traveler can keep calling me Mitoboru. It's a good name. <laughs> of course it is. Paimon picked it after all. So, Mitoboru, is there anywhere else you want to go? Although I can sense two more places, I fear it will be the same situation as before. No treasures, only some driftwood. It doesn't matter. Darn. But I swore there'd be treasure in this deal for you. Hey, it's okay, Mitaburu. We're friends now. Well, in that case, whether it's treasure or not, let's hope you two can find something rather than nothing there. Ha <laughs> ha! Good. Let's go to the closer location first. The location I sensed is around here. I wonder. Sure enough, no treasure here. Paimon knows that. Paimon just can't help feeling a little disappointed, that's all. There's a wooden sword here. It looks like a children's toy. Hey! The thing I sensed. Could it be this wooden sword? Surely it couldn't be a wooden sword. Thank you. 
Paimon can still feel her head spinning. Ugh. Shiver me timbers! I remember now. The sea battle between Akordomiki and the Shogunate. And then the lightning that came at the end of the battle. Oh, what could it have been? Will blow me down. Just a fraction of the Thunderbird's wrath, and yet still so powerful. Wait, but the lightning came from Seirai Island. Traveler, have you been there? Do you know what happened to the island after that? No. I can't believe it. It was a truly terrible thunderstorm, it was. Ah, I don't have the words to describe the horror of it. We stood up against the Shogunate precisely because we did not want our homeland to be ruled by them. We wanted to protect the people of Seirai Island. We made an enemy of the Shogunate for the sake of Seirai Island. And in the end... Oh, Shrine Maiden. Why? Wait. So that thunderstorm was the reason I... The reason I drifted here. I... I was terribly injured in that storm. My whole body was falling apart. It took all my strength to get here. Ah, Mitaburu. But what about the wooden sword? What does this have to do with it? This wooden sword is made from my broken timber. Zaimon once seized a sword-wielding Magu with his barbed spear. The Magu drifted here with us. The wooden sword was probably crafted by local children imitating the Magu's sword. The body of the mighty pirate ship that once fought against the Shogunate, now reduced to a children's toy of all things. Arr, my mind is awash with strange and complex feelings. So, Mitaboru, should we take this with us? After all, it is a part of you. No, there's no point taking this now. <laughs> Young scallywags. The little landlubbers got me this time. <sighs> Although it's disappointing now that I remember the truth, somehow I feel relieved too. At least I know what happened. I won't be deceiving myself with my wishful thinking any longer. The only thing I'm worried about now is my old mateys who drifted here with me. I wish I could know how they're doing. Oi, let's hope so. Okay, there's one last place. I can feel it. It's the last piece of my body. I'll just sail over there. Is the last place somewhere around here? I most sure. The precise location seems to be in that house. On there are a lot of wooden planks on this conch house, but. They don't look like what we're after. Oh, could it be the one on the stone? What is it, though? A board nailed onto two wooden strips? With a wooden mallet next to it? This is a musical instrument? Uh, can it really make a decent sound? Why don't we try it out first before giving it to Mitaboru? Pretty sure this instrument hasn't been repaired in a long time. Well, this must be the last fragment of Mitaboru's body. Come on, let's go tell him. You're back. How did it go? Did you find anything? This is indeed my last piece. But what the festering fishbait have they turned me into this time? We think it's a musical instrument. 
but it hasn't been fixed for a while, so you can't really play anything with it. Zatsu. Ah, a pity to be sure. Musical instrument. <laughs> I never imagined that my broken body could be used to play music. It makes me think of my old mates. They used to sing when the mood took them. They'd sit by the beach facing the campfire. Hey! What kind of sound does this instrument make? Why don't you give it a try? Uh, it hasn't been caulked for a long time, so it might not sound as good as you're hoping. It doesn't matter. Satisfy my curiosity. Just strike it and see what happens. found a way back. Aye, but since I was so badly damaged, it was the most I could do to bring them here. There was no way I could go back with them. Ah, oh, it gladdens me hearts to know that they are safe, but I... Even though I said goodbye to them, I still can't help thinking, what if I could have gone back with them? Oh, how I wish we had returned together. With them, I would have been willing to go anywhere. No matter how dangerous. There are so many grand adventures for us to go on. So many treasures out there in the world waiting for us to discover them. Why did I have to be left here abandoned like this? I could do nothing but watch them leave and embark on a new journey without me. I... I still feel the sadness now that I remember it. Even after all this time. Laugh when you feel like crying, and press on when you feel like giving up. That's how you survive out on the ocean. Anyway, thank you for helping me remember all of this. Thank you, Ka- Yeah! In a way, all the things you sensed really were invaluable treasures. To you, at least. Hi, it's true. Tis a shame I can't repay your kindness. As a ship, there's only so much I can do. But, um, in the future, if I ever need your help again... We'll be here for you whenever you need us, Mitaboru. Right? Fantastic! Thank you both. And if you ever voyage in these seas again, I will be your trusty companion. Didn't Mitsuboru say he wanted to meet us? Let's go find him and see what it's about. <laughs> what is the... Oh, is that what it is? I don't know. Ahoy! Here you are! I thought you'd be too busy flying around the islands with those wings of yours. Bet you've long forgotten your old mate Mitaboru sitting there slowly soaking away in the ocean. We're here now, aren't we? So you said you needed our help. What's up? It's not that important. Remember when you helped me find the missing pieces of my body? How can I put it? I'm not sure if it's because I've fulfilled my wishes, or if these waters are slowly diminishing my ability to talk. Recently, I find myself sleeping most of the time, rather than staying conscious. I see. So it's because of some contraption that I became your wave rider and could communicate with you. Ooh. Does that mean that once the effects of the machine wear off, 
Mitaburu won't be able to talk anymore? We gotta do something before it's too late! Ha <laughs> ha! There'll be no need for that, Paimon. I am quite content that I had the chance to talk to you at all. Arr, the more I think about it, for me as a ship, to have gotten to talk to you in the past few days, it really is a wondrous thing. The stuff dreams are made of. But no, I need to ask you for one more favor. Remember when I told you that once we found me body, I'd take you for a cruise? Well, it seems my body was reduced to a slew of sorry shipwrecks. And most of the treasure was taken away, leaving nothing good for you. But this time, I swear, as a mighty pirate ship, there be treasure ahoy, and a fine treasure at that. Or else may I be strangled by seagrass and fed to the fish. Just trust me one last time. Well, since Mitsuburu probably won't be able to speak soon, and since there really is treasure this time, let's go! Time to set sail! Ah, come on then, me hearties. Time to come aboard. Oh shit, was I supposed to be paying attention? Oh no, okay. lights are from Inazuma. I haven't seen them for many a year. Follow them. They look just like fishing lanterns. I feel like I'm back in the port at Seirai, with the fishing boats lining the harbor at night. Even pirates don't get to go on adventures every day. When he had free time, Zaimon would take us out fishing. He would harpoon fish with his barbed spear. I never saw him miss once. I do wonder where he is now, but knowing him, I'm sure he would do everything he could to return to Seirai. Oh, oh, I just remembered. I've got two things to tell you. First of all, I've remembered my name. Wow. So, Mitsuburu? No, wait. Um, so... Mr. Chip? What's your real name? The maiden of Asase Shrine named me Koseki Maru. Most of my maids were from Koseki Village, and she hoped I could take them back to their hometown. Koseki Maru. Hmm. Paimon still prefers me to Boru, but Koseki Maru is a nice name too. But I... I failed them. If only I could have been stronger, I might have been able to survive the thunderstorm and make it back to Koseki Village with my friends safe and sound. I'm really enjoying this event and the writing and Genshin in general, so I'm going slow and enjoying it. Zooming lights we saw too. Is this all happening because of me? Festering fish bait. I'm going to drag everyone down with me. Come on, me too! Aye, you're right. I am the proud Koseki Maru, pirate ship under the command of the mighty pirate Ako Domiki. The wood of Seirai made me flesh and bones, and the shrine maiden of Asase gave me my name. 
I have sailed the seas for decades, never once leaving my friends behind. Even when fighting the strongest foes, I never feared nor faltered. A little thunder and lightning can't stop me. Ha! Watch me breeze through it. talking ship is still just a ship. The Traveler's superb sailing skill was what saw us safely through the storm. <sighs> I'm afraid I may have triggered the thunderstorm. These waters are less stable than they once were. But we've arrived. Traveler, Paimon, the treasure is right up there. The place we first visited when we were looking for treasure? There was nothing here but half of Kosi Kamaro's hole. I am certain that there's treasure up there this time. It's... What did I call it again? It's the intuition of a mighty pirate ship. Wait a minute. You said you had two things to tell us, right? And the first one was that you'd remembered your name. What was the other one? <laughs> I thought you'd already forgotten. I'll tell you when you come back. Surely the treasure should be near Kosi Kamaro's shipwreck. Let's go and check it out. We got a model ship for the pot. Kosi Kamaru! Kosi Kamaru! We found the treasure. Look! It's a model pirate ship. Your intuition finally worked this time. So, what's the other thing you wanted to tell us? Kosi Kamaru? Uh, but he said he'd tell us when we returned. Kosi Kamaru, you're a big fat liar.
busy, go outside. It must go outside. short circuiting. Why is it so small? If it goes outside, why is it so small? Uh, zoom in. Can I put it on top of one of these tables? No, of course not. I mean, I could put it like literally in the middle of this. So I can put things on the stage. So I could put Eugen on the stage. Um... Well, shit. It goes outside. Why the fuck does it go outside, man? Can I talk to it? Can I talk to it? Please let me talk to it. Alright, that's pretty sick, though. That's pretty sick. Alright, uh... Huh. It's... This, right? not gonna bother taking a picture uh so we're probably capped on Ooh, 159 out of 160 let's go spend I should probably drop Bennett before I Bado ult, actually. Uh, I dodged late.
Okay. Pretty simple. Mm. I mean, it's a four-star gladiator feather. That's not bad. That's not. That's not nothing. It's something. It's not nothing. Um. Whoops. How did going downwards get that? Um. All right. Now let's join somebody. Because it's so early in the day, people should still probably have dailies. Actually, I'm going to hit the bathroom before I do that. All right, I'm back. <sighs> I really, I don't mind when headset disconnects and it's just like sound cuts out. 
I mind when headset disconnects and it does that. It goes static. Because that fucking is loud and it's in my ear. Um. It is really picky today. Okay, reset that. Reset this. Sorry if I sent that twice. I thought I sent it to Master Hero. I think this cable may finally be going. <sighs> it's fine. I have other USB-Cs. Oops, that's wrong. Reset that. Don't we have a job to do? Um, I should probably get out of here so that it doesn't reset on me. Um. Like, not that that would be the worst thing in the world, but I don't need it right now. Uh, 34. Refresh this. Um... Declined. Declined. My bad. That's my bad. Oh, it didn't actually send because there's a five second cooldown. Good. I hit X again. 
Oh, nice. Fellow Bedo haver. Can I pick these up, too? I don't actually know. I think I can. I think because they're drops, I can pick this up. Which is cool. That's good to know. Wait, did you take it? Or did you... Okay, you picked it up. Yeah. Okay. I prefer, when I'm on second player, I prefer playing Barbara Rosaria. It's a freeze setup, which is nice for crowd control. Um, oh, shit, I didn't mean to take that, my bad. There's a chest over there. Let's go kill these dudes. I need scrolls for Barbara anyway. I think. That's not mine. Did you drop a mask or anything, buddy? No? Okay. Crab. I could have grabbed that because it's going to run away, but... Well, no, because it'll respawn. And Kiki's kind of cool. I was saying, I said earlier on Twitter, uh, it kind of sucks that I pulled Mona because now I have to actually learn how to play her and build her. Oh, there's the actual boss. I was like, this thing is, like, remarkably easy. It's already gone. This is why I go into lower level people's. Like, yeah, I farm. I have to farm more, but I love co op, so that's not a downside. And I love rolling people.
Oh. Following you. Oh. get those. I need to go pick those up. Thanks for reminding me. Where are those? Yeah, okay. Whoops, I didn't mean to take that, my bad. I think Kiki probably needs... Ooh, can we kill this thing? I need to kill this thing. Hello! Hello, friend! <laughs> Ruffle stompered. It's just one chaos device, but hey, it's still useful. It's two seconds of work. Uh, yeah, whatever. Hello. Oh, I was trying to kill the fox. Very glad we have a fire user for this. Oh, don't take the mist flower. That's not mine. that. There's a mist flat. Okay. Whatever. good doing whatever honestly I'm just chill just chillin big chillin big chillin Ooh, there's a chest over here nice mm, I see a chest over there Just over here. Hello. Hello, friends. This will slow things down.
<laughs> Can't get their attention. Thank you. Um, do we go this way? I think this is a dead end. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, yeah, dead end. Oh my god. Hate not having a great sword user out. Okay, you pick that up. You pick that up first. I want to make sure you pick that up. Would you pick this up? Okay, yes. Okay, I think I do get mining materials, which is good. I'm going to play Beto for a little bit. Because I can supercharge with Kiki. That's actually a pretty good combo. Really glad that guy told me. I mean, I would have noticed when I started doing co-op, but really glad that that person told me, hey, uh, don't take other people's materials. You, they, they are shared. Love my Beido. Simple as. Cooking? Okay. Can I use this while I'm here? I can! Oh! Oh ho ho ho! I can! Okay. That's pretty good to know, actually. Could make... Okay, what do I need for... Actually, what do I need for this 60? Oh, I'm almost there. I can probably make that right now. I'm gonna auto-add. Okay, well, at least I got the crafting done. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. It is... Tuesday? Tuesday, August 16th, yes. Okay. Um, so I can't farm that today. How about you? 
Monday, Thursday, Sunday. Okay, I just missed it. Well, I just did you yesterday. Okay. Um... You. I don't know. I think I messed up crafting this. I should have crafted the other one, honestly. Wednesday. Okay. Tuesday. Oh, okay. So I already have shit tons of... I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but I'm going to do it. Saw by a crafting bench and work on stuff. Uh... I can make one. Okay. Okay, no bonus. I need two. What does she have equipped? An apprentice notes. Okay. Um. Twin Nephrite, maybe? Oh, that is an energy recharge book. Let's do that. Uh, hold on. Lock it. I'm upgrading this. Just a habit, I suppose. go do Geo a few times. I do Geo in my own world once, then I'll send a co-op invite. Uh, wrong way. Yeah, let's kill the Abyss, or the Fatui agent while we're here.
not over. All right, I'll be right back. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Can't run! Yeah! Hit! 
I'm going to go pick up these. Oh, or did I already pick them up for today? Did I pick them up this morning before my walk? I must have. No. Benny. Question marks? Okay, well, I remember there are some here somewhere. It's like this way. Guys. Oh, this is a mini slime too. You can't run. Somewhere around here. I'll find him if I run around enough. There they are. Okay. Uh, let's go farm treasure hunters. It's almost there. Should be able to make a good batch of Mondstadt hash browns, too. I've been picking up a lot of high bones. Hello, gentlemen. There's no end to this. Green. You can't nice. run. Yeah. Green is one third of a blue, so every green I get is great. A white is one ninth of a blue. And I need ten. So I would need 90 whites. Quick maths. In my opinion, it should be more like 30. <laughs> eh, maybe like 40. Maybe you could do like two. Two per each. The grind in Genshin is a little ridiculous. Some bamboo while I'm here.
Another test. Yeah. I got it. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Uh. 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 I got killed. Uh. Tenacious. Teamwork is strength. You can't lie. Once again, I did it in the wrong order. Lol. Nice, there's a blue. Another test subject. That tingle? I should place my hammer. Picked the wrong test subject. Nice, another blue. Uh, picked the wrong test subject.
picked the wrong test subject. There's no end to this. Okay, that's the treasure hoarders for the day. So, let's see. I need eight. I can make five normally, and I can make nine. Okay. Okay. So, I need six. I might convert one. I think I'm going to convert one. Okay. So... The reason I bought one is 
because if I can buy out this shop... Not that one. I always think it's that one. It's this one. Okay, so there are 12 here. I'm just going to buy them all. I probably should have done that first. I didn't need to convert one. Okay. What do I need? Oh, I didn't actually craft it. Lol. Okay. Uh, so I need nine of these. Oh. Well, I needed eight. Whatever. Okay. Oh my god. That is going to be a grind. Jesus Christ, that is going to be a grind. Okay. Welcome to level 73, buddy. These cannot be gotten today, right? Yeah. And these cannot be gotten today? Yeah. Yeah. But I should probably still farm. How about this one? These could be gotten today. In fact, I think I would be able to craft that. Right now. To... One more Diviner Scroll. Okay. Let's go! That's my ascended weapon to phase five. So now, theoretically, well, let's upgrade more artifacts. All right, we're trying a new cable. I've finally gotten frustrated with it. Ugh. Good thing USB-Cs are a dime a dozen. Not really, but... 
So upgrading her energy recharge relic would be nice, but I don't really need it right now, you know. Um, that's plus 16, that's plus 16, that's plus 8. It's just an HP flower. This is plus 15. Boy. Cool. So that's another artifact plus 16. Uh, let's work on this. Oops. Hmm. You know what else I need to pick up? That is what life. Oh, I haven't ascended him yet. The monster is all about. Oh no, I did. Wait, what? Shouldn't I? Oh. I guess I already had it. Damn. Oh well. <sighs> That's just changing. Done with that. Okay. Really need to unlock this. And this. And then I'll have everything. clear out Fatui agents and um, what are these actually called? Fatui skirmishers. Alright, Geo Crib. Crib. Cube. <laughs> to ashes! You can't run!
No, I don't care enough. I'll leave it. Whatever. Uh, should we do Ganyu story quest? I'm gonna be right back, gonna refill my water, yeah, gonna refill my water, gonna use the bathroom, then we'll do Ganyu's story. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Ah, a cold beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready.
If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. day's work. Nothing like it. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. Never quite seem to get my land legs back. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. All right, I'm back.
It's shocking how much work there is to do, even for the three of us. And she's been handling it alone all along. The Chising secretary clearly isn't an ordinary person. It's so frustrating. Huh? You're... Aren't you Ningguang's servants? How come you're here? <clears throat> we are Miss Ningguang's private secretaries, not servants. <sighs> Have you seen Miss Ganyu, Traveler? It has been several days since Ganyu left for Joyun Karst. She's the general secretary of the Liyue Qixing. We've only taken over her responsibilities until she gets back. Ah, oh, even though the Qixing have made peace with the Adepti after the latter had denounced Liyue, they still want to pay their respects to the Illuminated Ones. They commissioned Ganyu as their envoy to deliver a letter to Juyan Karst and bring the Adepti the latest news about the crisis. Still, Ganyu should have been back to her usual responsibilities by now, but she's disappeared without a trace. Is that so? Maybe Ganyu just took a little detour. Who can blame her after working so hard? I'm afraid it's not very likely. Ever since we met Ms. Ganyu, she's been nothing but the most conscientious person in all of Liyue. Even when it's time for her annual leave, Ms. Ganyu stays on duty at Yuahai Pavilion saying, There is still so much to do. She couldn't possibly be using her mission as an excuse to slack off. Oh, Paimon sees how it is. But she's half adeptus. She wouldn't get in trouble, right? Why do you look so upset? <sighs> it's because of this absurd workload of hers. <sighs> when we first heard the three of us would be taking over for Miss Ganyu, we thought it would simply be a matter of changing our work environment. <sighs> we couldn't have imagined that Miss Ganyu's daily workload far exceeds what the three of us are used to doing. We don't even know how long we've been working. We feel guilty for taking even a short breather like we are now. Looks like you got a serious emergency on your hands. Speaking of Juyun Karst, Traveler, I've heard that you can go in and out of there as you please. Of course! We've been there lots of times! Ah, oh, that's good news. Could you go to Juyun Karst and find Miss Ganyu for us? Preferably before we collapse under this workload. Ah. Oh. Oh, we're saved. I remember Miss Ganyu said that she'd be visiting Cloud Retainer's abode. You might as well start looking for her there. It's about time she came back to work. Otherwise... Oh. No, perhaps we should go to Lady Ningguang first and bring up our overtime pay again. So Ganyu left to visit Cloud Retainer. Doesn't she live in Mel Outso? We should hurry up. Paimon hopes we can find her there. do something. What did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to look at my characters real quick. I want to start building an alternate spear user that I can just swap the leper over to, and I think it's going to be Toma. God, I need, I need EXP. Yeah, I need EXP. I'm going to have to do fire cube for him. Okay. Start doing fire cube. Alright. It gives me a goal. Because once I hit AR-50, I will be done. Like, I will no longer have ascensions to do. So maybe it's a little early to start worrying about that yet. But Toma's, Toma's on my radar of next to raise. Because I think he's pretty good. I've seen him in action with somebody else. And he seems pretty solid. Um, it's been a while since I've looked at 
talents. Oh. Well, I mean, I could do that one. Yeah, I'm still using all that shit for ascending. I'm not gonna waste it on talents real quick anytime soon. Alright, let's go find Ganyu. Excuse me. No, I took my meds this morning. I just couldn't, suddenly couldn't remember. Oh, I never actually did this puzzle on this account. I've done it on other accounts. Uh, okay. So where are they again? Uh, okay, so that one's done? Or is that one the only not done one? I think that one's done. And these, the shining is what they are. Where they are. That makes sense. Ah, there it is.
Okay. Starting to lose count. Actually, I think I want to go this, but I'm still going to do that. Let's lock this. What should I give her? You can have... Actually, you can have the white tassel. I'm giving that to Toma. You can you can hold the white castle. White... <laughs> white castle! Yes, the white castle! You can hold the white castle. Oh, Tuesday! We could farm these... That wouldn't be bad. That would not be bad. Okay, let's do an equipment check real quick on everyone. So, weapons, four star. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, I think she's better for that one. This one's better for, like, if you have a... Not a trap... Set. Like, she's also wouldn't be good for this. 
official. Um, you're using an RF5 book, that's good. You're using the PlayStation Sword, that's fine. Okay, everyone here is equipped. You're using the widged... The wids. Okay. You're using Prototype Rancor. You're using Mappa Mare. You're using White Tassel. You're using Debate Club. You're using Apprentice's Notes. Alright, let's get you a book. Sure. Uh, I need to actually pick up the thing I came up here for. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. <laughs> if you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Really lucky I didn't take damage there. What is Tianchu Treasure Trail? Oh, can't initiate in co-op mode. Okay. Question mark? Yeah, he's clearing out mining rocks. I wish they would communicate that. I guess this will be my...
All right. <laughs> Dude just took all my ore and left. I'm gonna go check this one. Yep, it's gone. And it all despawned because I wasn't here. Thanks, bro. <laughs> if you're gonna do that, make sure the host understands. Take that thing back to the Adeptus. Don't we have a job to do? Easy. Standing over there. That's Ganyu. We finally found her. Ganyu, here you are. You two. I did not expect to meet you here. Is it official or private affairs that bring you here? Oh, I shouldn't. I have left the human world. Please contact the Yua High Pavilion regarding matters concerning the commercial port. Huh? 
you don't want to be the Chi-Sing secretary anymore? But they're all waiting for you to come back! That's why you're here? You want me to come back? I'm afraid you came here in vain. What? Did something happen? The clouds fold and unfold. The tide ebbs and flows. It was meant to be. When the Adepti entrusted humans with overseeing Liyue, I knew it was only a matter of time until I had to leave. My Adepti blood makes me unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. I delivered the letter and came back to Liyue Harbor, only to discover that I had been replaced by Baiwen, Bai Shao, and Bai Shu. Perhaps that mission of mine was just a pretext to remove me. Since the Chi Sing gave me a chance to leave with dignity, I decided to be tactful as well. I appreciate your kindness, but there's no need for your words of comfort. After a thousand years away, I came back to Juyun Karst. Looking at the clouds floating among the mountains brings me peace of mind. I feel better now. Uh, but... Who disturbs the peace of these mountains? Cloud Retainer? We're terribly sorry, we just... <laughs> One merely jests. One felt your presence the moment you set foot upon this land. Wow, you adept, I really are impressive. Come here to chat about the old times with Ganyu. It looks like you get along quite well. <sighs> ah, a matter leaves you at an impasse then. Not to worry. One is exceptional at seeking avenues for conversation. One has been one's own companion in idle talk for many a year. Ah, yes. Since you are Ganyu's friends, tales from her youth shall one apprise you of, perhaps? Oh, Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Nothing to be ashamed of. You were so cute as a child. One is most certain that your friends would like to hear of it. Oh, Paimon wants to hear it! Uh... Hmm. Little Ganyu loved when the horns on the top of her head were caressed. When one was still taking care of her, one was pestered most often to touch her horns. She was elsewise loath to sleep. Wow! Plump she was back then. Why, when she stumbled while we ascended the mountain, she would roll down to the bottom like a little ball. <laughs> the day Ganyu bumped into a pilgrim was the first time she saw a real human in the flesh. So fearful she was that she hid in a rock's cleft for two days and nights. One found her wailing of a monster she had seen. <laughs> Cloud retainer? Ugh, forget it. It's about time for my training. I will take my leave. Ah, one's intention was merely to relieve the awkward tension. And you did the exact opposite. Impressive! Be that so? Huh. But returning to Ganyu, most gladdened one is of your arrival. One cannot help but feel that remaining in Jueyun Karst shall not be good for her. One will tell you more about her, if you should permit it. Most benevolent among all Adepti are the Chilin. They drink only spring water and eat only whole grain. But perhaps the mountainous dwellings of Adepti in Jueyun Karst might be too lonely for her human side. Under moonlight did one see her last. She stood by the precipice's edge, and upon the mist-veiled mountains she gazed. Her thin figure was immersed in the vast sea of clouds. One noticed her loneliness, and sought to convince her to go back to the human world. But, just then, she said thus. Liyue Harbor feels even lonelier than Juyun Karst. When I look at the sea of clouds in Juyun Karst, I merely feel the loneliness of a solitary cloud gazer. When I step into the sea of...
Lady Liyue, I feel the loneliness of an inhuman that doesn't belong in the human world. One did, by chance, hear this much of Ganyu's thoughts. Alone, she will find her predicament hard to conquer. One hopes that you will accompany her. Oh, Retainer's right. We can't leave Ganyu depressed like that. Besides, Liyue hasn't given up on her. She's got it all wrong. Anyways, what's that training Ganyu was talking about? She has sought to reclaim her adeptus side since returning to Zhuoyun Karst. At her behest, one has organized training for her to achieve that end. She should be in the southern part of Mount Altsong right now, preparing for the trial. Huh, is that so? Let's go take a look then! All right. Ooh. Very good, very good. Yes. My dear Xiongling. Nice, got a 12% on the first try. All right, I'll have to start buying things again. Okay. I'm gonna go buy crabs and meat real quick. Crabs, meat, shrimp. I'm going to do some cooking. Wait, what is special offer? Oh. Nice. Okay, don't talk to people or else it breaks. Good to know. Uh, Inazuma.
Okay. Chef up twelve of those. Chef up a few of these puppies. Monstad Hodge Browns. 18. Nice. How many bonus will we get? Only one. Okay. All right, I'm back. Let's do more cooking.
Okie dokie. That's about all I need. That's about all I can do. Uh, we've picked up an achievement. We might have picked up a second achievement. I don't think we did, though. Oh, we finished it. Nice. I'm still going to go with the honorary knight, but... Nice. We need some more adventure XP. Work hard and live each well, we can go do Ganyu's story quest. Oh, we completed a thing. Nice. Got a fragile resin. Excellent. Okay, we just went bankrupt to make all that stuff, <clears throat> but hey, you know what? We don't have any XP tomes anyway, really. I might just go exploring with people, honestly. I feel like playing the video game, not watching cutscenes right now, so we'll do, we'll finish Ganyu's story later. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I have to restore there.
Where are you going? Get the warp point. I guess they don't want the warp point. Everything is negotiable, except over time. Don't we have a job to do?
probably going to work on Toma first. But I want to work on her too. I'm going to put her in there. I think I want to play her more than Toma. Sick, I'll do this with you. It's weekly reset, I can collect. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to switch to Bennett. Let's do it. I've been dodging Ifrit charges since the dawn of time, buddy. You're gonna have to do better than Ifrit charges. <laughs> oh, I don't have a Beidou to counter this hit. I should be. Okay, he is now immune to my ice attacks, which kind of sucks. drops. Dream solvent? I don't know what that's for. Defense, elemental mastery, healing bonus, attack, defense, crit damage. Damn. Okay. Da 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 
Everything is negotiable, except over time. Hey, there's something strange over there. Come on, let's take a look. Work hard and live each day to the mm. fullest. That is what life in Mondstadt is all about, isn't it? Jean will be upset if she catches us lazing around like this. <laughs> hmm. Everything is negotiable. Except over time. I'm gonna just leave because he's clearly AFK. It's fine, I helped him with a boss, that's probably what he wanted. My grades on life support because this game, let's go!
keep moving, but watch your step in the snow. <laughs> Dang, that's a that's a good looking greatsword. I like it. Adventure time. Adventure time! Come up this way. Off we go. This way. Some source of warmth. Taking this mint.
what's the hurry? You're not activated in... Okay. I'm gonna let him have that. That's good progress. He should get that. Uh, I'll be right back. You know what? I hate doing that. I'm going to end the stream here. It's getting hot outside and I want to take a walk. Peace.